Welcome back. You are here with R Master J, and today we are looking back at ISOM 1 and identifying 20 unanswered questions and mysteries from the book. Number 1. Who else is helping out the police? That is not the Alpha Corps. And who is the chick with the red hair? Number 2. When Police Sergeant Mick Davies is alerted that she's back, it is not formally confirmed that it is Yaira, but we can assume that it is, which leads to ask, where was Yaira? Why is she back? What is she doing? And why is she so damn angry? Number three, who is the right guy that Yaira wants to send a new message to? Number four, what is Avery if not an except? And how does he have his powers? And what are still his complete power set? Number five, the bracelet that Avery was found wearing in the hospital and obviously still left with. What is it? Is that the source of his powers? What is the origin of the bracelet? Number six. Why is Avery so sensitive and petty and hot-headed towards Darren? Would he do this towards anybody? Is he always this angry? Is this why he's out of the game? These are very interesting character traits for our so-called hero. Number seven. Does Sam also have powers? Is he an except? Why would he be willing to go into the city based solely off of a ping? That could put him into some serious danger with the assumption that he knows who Avery is. Number eight, why did Sam have to pull his gun? Number nine, what are these two unnamed in the book characters up to? What are they trying to gain? What was their last project? Where did they come from? Number 10, why does the staircase not follow normal safety standards of having no railing on the outside? Number 11, where did Terrell go? Is he dead? Did he run off? Did he sacrifice himself for the greater good? Was he a casualty in something nefarious? Number 12. Who does actually know about Avery and what he is capable of? Why is it so hidden? How is he not recognized? Why does he have no records? Number 13. Why was his suit returned? Number 14. Other than being the designer for the Southern Style Wrestling League, what else is Cedric hiding? And did Avery actually get his start in the SSWL? Number 15. What are these otherworldly materials, rubber brawn and siliceous? And why is it so casually noted by Cedric that these even exist? Number 16. What does Cedric mean by your type? Accepts? Powers? Bracelet wearing people? Gods? Number 17. North Africa's lyrics right off the bat. Are they on the nose? Are they angels? Are they fighting demons? Or is it just the good versus evil allegory? should be noted that the last line of the book is, our lyrics are not make-believe. Number 18. Who is them? Who are they? Are these the other accepts? Are these the demons? Otherworldly gods? Number 19. What do they mean they do not want to send this realm into chaos? What defines a realm? It shouldn't be a multiverse. Eric July hates multiverses. Is a realm just what they call this world? This galaxy? This solar system? Or is there a different plane of existence altogether? of which that's where the gods live. And number 20, gangs can put hits out directly to the police. Are the police working with the gangs? Are they in cahoots? Is there absolute corruption from the top to the bottom within the government of Flores Park? So those are my 20 questions and mysteries from ISOM 1. Will they be answered in ISOM 2? Only time will tell, but I have a feeling to answer a lot of these, we'll have to wait for additional books like ISOM 3, Yaira 1, and Alpha Core 1. So with that said, let me know what other questions and mysteries you found from ISOM 1 and what you are excited to maybe get answers to here in the next book. Other than that, please like and subscribe and have a fantastic rest of your evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are on this crazy world. And as always, GG's everybody, GG's.